Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing my May favourites for um, the whole month. There is quite a few here. So I'm going to get straight into the video because I've got a lot, a lot to get through. Um, I'm going to start off with my beauty blenders. So this one's filthy because it needs to be washed. But if you, ooh, if you haven't tried it, it's the Morphe... I don't even know what kind of shape this is, but honestly, it is fantastic. It is soft, fluffy, um, especially when it's damp. You can definitely get into um, your under eye area. Um, it does have your flat um, edges, so you can really get in, in there. Um, it definitely distributes the foundation or any cream um, sort. Even when you're picking up your powder to bake, it's definitely a good um, like bottom tip to actually get right under there if you want to bake right underneath your contour. So that's one of my favourites as well as, let's get this one. This is a Model Rock base maker. It says Blendable Coverage Pro Beauty Sponge. Um, if you can get your hands on these, again, they are so nice, fluffy, yet still a bit firm. So Again, you can really bounce away and it definitely does the trick. This is one that's damped. So you can actually see the oops, you can actually see the difference in size. Um, again, it's really, really bouncy, so um, I think it, they're just as good as the original Beauty Blender. I was honestly at the beginning really hesitant to ever try anything else but the Beauty Blender, but I thought, hey, why not? Let's just give it a crack and you know what? I've actually changed my mind because these are, if not just as good, if not any better. So these two have my heart and soul right now. My next part, um, it's a facial serum. So if you've heard of, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Fasali. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. But this is an alternative yet so, so much cheaper, I believe. Um, it is the Palmer's Cocoa Formula Vitamin E Multi-Effect Perfecting Facial Oil. Um, if you don't want to spend that $90 on the Fasali one, I'm pretty sure this is like $11, $12, max maybe $15. But I think it does the trick and also just leaves your skin leaving amazing. One of my girlfriends is very oily. Um, even though this is an oil serum, um, it definitely like soaks into your skin and it doesn't leave that oily texture um, for a long amount of time. So, and if you are dry, this one will be your absolute baby. I put it right underneath my primer and it does the trick. So that's another favourite. Uh, my Mario Badesco facial, I hate rose water. I hate, sorry, I hate the smell of rose, but to be honest, I really don't mind this one. Um, it is the Mario Badesco Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. Um, I just, I love it. I honestly, if my skin's feeling a bit dry, I just squirt some on and I'm back to being rejuvenated, hydrated, even when I don't have makeup on and the weather's like actually quite sunny outside and I want some refreshments, my go-to. I've probably finished maybe three of these. This is like my fourth. Um, again, I don't actually mind the smell for not liking rose. Um, and other, another setting spray that I've just purchased, so I haven't even... Um, been able to test it test it properly but the few times that I have um, I've fallen in love it's a setting spray by Gerard Cosmetics it's a mystified hydrating facial spray um, again I think it smells beautiful um, it really does set your makeup in place so if you are going for let's just say an event that lasts over six hours be trusted that this will definitely work out for you so if you can get your hands on it I highly recommend it I was so freaking excited that I, I managed to get my hands on this because I assumed it would have sold out in like 30 seconds, but thank God I was able to get one. It's the Max 
Max. MAC Fix Plus Spray in the coconut um, scent. And I uh, don't you think the packaging is just amazing. Even the box. I will never get rid of this box. My husband will probably kill me. But because uh, I'll just be hoarding everything. But I really don't want to get rid of it because it's just gorgeous. But again, you know, Fix Plus has been around for many, many years. And I don't think it will ever be outdated um it is fantastic to work on with the skin and it is just amazing and the coconut smell in that is just divine um i've got two primers that i am absolutely in love with yes i am a bit delayed to the train but did manage to get my hands on them um eventually it's the step one makeup forever um base hydrating primer um where are we and that is it there. I hope you can see that. If you do, again, have dry skin, I highly recommend this. Um, it smells... Oh, sorry, I forgot how it smells like. But we'll get there. It smells clean. <laughs> um, I don't know if that helps. But um, honestly, it is just amazing for underneath the base, especially if you've got... Um, dry skin. The next item is my Hangover um, Primer by Too Faced and if you have not smelt this you need to smell it. It is fantastic. Again it is more suited for um, dry skin. They do have an oil free version of this or like a similar one um, so if you do have if you're prone to being oily there is definitely one suited for you guys. Um, it, it, it says the Hangover Replenish Face Primer with coconut water, uh, probiotic based ingredients and skin reviews, uh, revivers. Uh, silicon free, we love your skin even when you don't. Um, the finish of my foundation, the long lasting of my foundation is great. Or anything that I've put on my face, it is fantastic with this on. Um, so again, if you haven't used it, I would highly recommend for you to go check it out. The next item is my RCMA translucent powder. Yes, this is filthy, but um, I can't even explain to you how much I love this. It is finely milled. Um, there is no smell, so it's not going to irritate you, especially like people that are sensitive to smells, because I know that there's quite a few people that are. Um, definitely works with every, every skin type um, that I've ever played with um, as well as you know it works the only thing I hate is the canister that it's in if that's what I'm going to judge it by um, but what I've done instead of oops, instead of taking off the sealant I actually poked holes through um, so that a whole load of it doesn't come out um, and I can sift through it easier. So again, I've had this for, I'm going to say, maybe four or five months now. And again, this is how much I've used. I don't know if you can see properly, but like that's nothing. And it will still last me. My second on agenda is my foundations. Um... This is the new version that they've released out by L'Oreal. It's my drugstore um, everyday foundation. I do have a couple of shades of this because I do fake tan. So I need it to sit with the transition transition of uh, skin colours that I'm at, at the moment. Um, I do also have... Um, uh, sorry. I do love the way that they've got such a huge variety in their range. So it does suit multiple skin uh, skin colours. Um, I've got this one for my fake tan, which is the... What is this one? Honey. Um, and then I've got my lighter one. I'm pretty sure it's vanilla beige or beige vanilla. Something like that. But yeah, it is absolutely amazing. It's very buildable in terms of its coverage and you know what it actually does last all day like if I'm I've just got you know a dinner 
And I normally do my makeup in the morning because I've got my two little ones that I have to work around with. So um, if I'm ready, planning to go on at night, I can normally do my makeup in the morning and it'll definitely last through um, through the night. And I may have to touch it up a little bit, but there's nowhere, especially for a drugstore, like that's really impressive, I believe. Like for the price that you're getting it for, it's A+. plus. Um, the next foundation, and I also stuck this ooh, without breaking it. Um, I actually stuck this in my makeup kit. It's the Ingla HD Foundation. Um, and this shade, again, is the shade 83, if you want to know. Um, I've just dropped the lid, but never mind. Um, I do love the way um, you can actually get use of all the product because it's got that little sift part that lifts up the um, foundation when you pump it so you you've got absolutely no sense of wasting what's oh, no sense of wasting whatsoever um, I do go through these like a crazy person so if you are looking for something for your kit or even for yourself that is very very borderline um, in the pro range I highly recommend this it's just amazing like and you don't even need a lot of um, pumps for it to do your whole face maybe a pump and a half and that's absolutely nothing when you think about it and it's definitely buildable it's definitely long lasting so I think this is a plus and above the next couple of items are my highlighters and I don't think in this world that I could oh, pick anything else like I know obviously there'll be new ones that will come out but I normally go back to these ones which will be my two Becca um my my Becca highlighters and my MAC so the shades that I've got are Moonstone and Opal these these are how they look I know you've probably seen them a million one times by other youtubers but again I cannot rave more about these. Just watching them for you, sorry. Where are we going? I don't know if you can see. Oh. They are just divine. Like, they just work so perfectly. Um, it's an effortless application. You just have to just touch the brush to your face and it is popping and I normally go back to these main three highlighters although I do have quite a lot in my collection but if anything they are definitely my ultimate favorites um my two last palettes uh my two last oh sorry four <laughs> I've got four more items to go um I've got my Stila um, pot eyeliner yep it's got it's got inked cushioned eyeliner by Stila it's the black obsidian obsidian whatever uh, ink liner and oh, uh, oh why am I dropping everything anywho um I I just love this it's just so easy to work with. You can definitely get the intensity of um, your eyeliner through this. You can definitely work it up and it is just amazing. And I love the formula. Like there's nothing else I can say about it, but I love, love, love. Now, my goodie boy, which is my Benefit Haul of Bronzer. I love this. It is so universal. I can't even just explain it. it. When I do do makeup on clients or myself, no matter what type of skin tone, unless if you're super dark, um, it just matches and it's so easy to blend. The, the, the formula is just amazing. Um, and again, it is one of my top favourites and I can try a million other things, but then I normally come back to this little one. So again, thank you, Benefit. You have just made my day. My two last items will be your Tarte palettes. 
if you don't have this, look at yourself in the mirror and say you need to get them because legit the let's open them so I can show you the colors are just to die for they are super blendable super can you see my mess <laughs> um, they are super blendable super easy to use universal they just you can come up with a hundred and one looks and yet it will still be different if you wanted to in each and every way. You've got your neutrals, your cools, your um, your darks or your warms, whatever you want to call it. Um, and again, just amazing. Like, I just can't believe I didn't get these a lot earlier in life. I don't know what I was thinking. But anywho, I've got them now and I highly suggest for you to go out there if you've got a friend, sister, brother, whoever it could be, mum, and they've got this palette, test it out. I can guarantee you will fall in love and think to yourself, why didn't you get these any sooner? So this comes to the end of my video. Um, I do hope you enjoyed it. Give me a huge thumbs up if you thought, um, if you thought my video was good. Uh, please leave me a comment down below. Give me some recommendations. What's your um, May favourites? And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.